Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to NO2205. This is the second episode. Last episode we took a little bit of a uh, introduction into the game and I s took some time off camera to build up a little bit more of the base. Uh, it just took a, a minute or two. Uh, basically what's happening now is I've got, I'm, I'm holding down the, the subtract key on the keyboard to, to slow it down. I put in uh, power plants all the way along the outsides here so you can see that there's a little bit over that. I guess we can move you out a little bit more might work better. We get a little more efficiency when we move everything out of the range of each other. We have a little bit of overlap. Yeah, I can move you over one. That might help out. Yeah, look at that. Okay, that's better. And then I might be able to fit you over here and actually get a second guy over here. I know this isn't the most efficient way. Actually, I can't. Ah, that's too bad. Oh well. Uh, I know it's not the most efficient layout of a city, but you know, I don't really care for min-maxing. I just want to have fun playing it. So our goal here is to level up our bi bi uh, biopolymers to attract a population of operators. So we're going to do that. We're going to use the upgrade tool. And we're just going to go through and upgrade a bunch of you guys here. And we'll see what happens. Okay, we used up most of our stuff. And they're still working over here. These guys are still working. Which is good. So we can start the upgrade on this thing too once we have a thousand operators in. We only have 400 right now. Uh, so we can upgrade that very, very soon. So that's basically where we laid off. There was one additional thing that happened. There was a guy in the space station who contacted me. I forget who it was. Uh, this is the main map of it, too. So we can actually look at uh, negotiation. If we look at the Viridian well, Coves. Spit it out. This is made Tang Le Shung. Um, ooh, we just leveled up to level four. And we get the fleet size increased. We'll get to that soon, too. Okay, so the deal is we can actually buy out. We can take over sector if we if we buy out required credits we require that many are we going down <laughs> no we're going up uh, we have to re if we had that many we could require or we could buy them out and we could get their their whole new size so that's kind of the part of the battling nice thing to see you. this guy he's 1.2 million dollars he's a lot richer than us so we could actually get those in the future uh we can also talk to the guys in the spaceship or in the this thing too we can Manage and upgrade our fleet and military. We'll get to that probably next episode. External resources you can pick up at the moments, like a trade, and then the council too. So, uh, there's the assignment center. We can actually see your assignments. To this. Okay, let's close you. So, lunar licensing programs are main quest in the space elevator. So we can see what we've done and what we're gonna do. Go back to our Warning. go back to our area. But we are it's low on our vitamin products. drinks, aren't we? So uh, we have we're building that up slowly. We need to get more vitamin drinks so our operators will be happy and we can get more operators coming in. So we click on the operator deal and we can build fruit plantations. Um, fruit plantations and then that uses the vitamin condenser into it. This is this is what bothers me. I don't really have a, a good setup yet for... I haven't figured out a good way to, to start the farms. So I'm just going to bring over here. We're going to bring that down. And we're going to start some juice farms here. I think about two maybe put you there and we're gonna leave a gap at two and we'll put another one there okay we'll have two juice farms and then I'm gonna build one of these guys a we'll build one move seeing to your staff's good health Benefits awesome like that make you a more attractive employer so he's running at 100% efficiency these are both running at 100% it seems that sometimes one isn't enough to fully have one plantation work so uh, that's why I built two but we're gonna need more workers we need more Logistics. So let's build another Reduce vehicle. Transport facing delays. Cause transporter shortage. Hmm. That doesn't fit there. Does it fit here? No. It doesn't fit anywhere. It fits right here. It would fit down here too. Okay, that requires more power. I think that'll work. Let's actually let's build another one right away, and that'll be fine. And yeah, we can upgrade more. We have 48, so let's do that. How many operators are we at? Are we have enough operators now. Workforce, total population, please. I don't think we have enough yet. No, 660. All right. Where does that say? I don't know. I'm drawing a blank right now. Okay, we'll upgrade those guys, and we will also upgrade these guys. Not quite all of them. Warning. Energy shortage. Makes sense. We used up more power. Okay. We're going to put in one. Let's turn you right here. Get that one. And we'll put another one out on the edge. Ooh, why can't I build you out here? Oh, no, my, no more 
polymers. Okay, put that one there. Cool. So they're still 100% efficient, which is awesome. Uh, we can do ornaments too. Ornaments are little parks and stuff. So beautify is your settlement. That's why I left a little gap here. Under provision of specific consumer goods detected. Still not producing enough of those. And there's some different ones. Small parking lot. Okay. That that's fine. We have parking lots now. Build parking lots up. We can't allow green space in our city. No says I. No green space. Let's just do those along here. Those will look different. We'll have a little park going in there. Let's remove those. We're gonna zap these out. We'll put parks in there too. I don't know if that's not okay. And ornaments. All right, we put little ones in. There are bigger ones that we can use. But we'll just use those for now. We could put in bigger ones like here, but I'm not going to because they're kind of expensive. Okay, we have 20 biopolymer. Let's use that to upgrade. Upgrade these. Your technicians are ready. Perfect. Start the elevator construction once all other requirements are met. I think we have enough. John Rafferty is already heading here with the special material deliveries. Perfect. All right. We have enough constructo bots. Let's do it. Yeah, Rafferty here. Miss Bowman assigned me to ensure the transport safety. Approaching your sector. Over. Uh oh. Code red. We're under attack. Code red. Damn it. The cargo. Protect the ship. People of Earth, this is the manifesto of the moon's independence. The Global Union waged war on us for generations with weapons like falsehood, negligence, and exploitation. And the LEC bowed its head in servile compliance. But not anymore. Set no foot on the land of our forefathers. We are the orbital watch. The moon is free. All right. They attacked us out of nowhere, sunk all my ships, and took over the cargo. Now they're blockading the whole sector. No transports are going to make it through anymore. All right. No time to study regulations. Meet Rafferty at the coordinates transmitted. Do whatever is necessary. Okay. Preparations for spaceport upgrade completed. All right. Look at that. We're actually building a thing up. So the deal, we, we're still missing, let's see, monument. So we can finalize that construction. We're still missing some vitamin drinks. So I'm going to put in another you can handle one. Risks like that, can't you? We'll just see how this goes. Actually, I can move those over. I really like the ability to move things because I am so bad at placing things down in my first time. You guys will see why I'm leaving gaps in the future here too. So we have enough, uh, enough of the juice. This means that we're missing input goods. So two does not supply two, which is kind of a bother. Anyway, uh, we can click up here now and we get to go do something cool. Orbital watch. Intervention required. Watch click on the mission. Laying hand on our ships. Give them hell. All right, we can accept the mission. Though this is like the, the combat aspect of the game. Uh, destroy orbital watch's commandos to free the hijacks transport ship and we get our 20 graphene or 25 graphene 20 iridium and then 30 combat experience we get the combat experience levels up our ships so let's accept this mission and head on in you're gonna take a, a second to load here not too long are we still missing more vitamin drinks are you kidding me it's loading and then we can't actually go back to a different one yeah there it goes oh we're missing rice now whoopsies let's just go in and take these ships out there that's where the bleeding cowards attacked us Still circling our cargo ships like a swarm of black flies. And I see they brought reinforcements. Gotta be careful. I've seen them before. They've no compunctions at all. Press past their blockade and free our ships. I got your back. Okay, so that's John back here. Something you want me to do? John is a healer healer boat. He'll heal up our boats as we go along. So, uh, we get a little resource thing. These are fuel, and the fuel is used to, for these buffs. So we get kinetic shields, we get wave mine, it damages ships and pushes them away, and then we get this one, it's just repair our own ships. Probably won't use them much since John is going to repair us up. We're going to collect more fuel that we can use to repair. The tab actually selects all of our guys and makes them in. So the whole idea is we need to go through this and basically take out the big bad guys, which are way over here. 
Uh, we can use a smaller ship like you to control. We can blow up this stuff. Increase security levels. And that Increase should blow up the mines when this thing explodes. There it goes. Now we just made a little door going in this way. We can attack these guys. There are little blue and little blue and green things too on the map. Blue, green, and red. And see, there's there's one right here actually. There's the green. That is submarines. So we could call up submarines to go in here. The red is nukes, and then the blue is a EMP EMP or an EM pulse. I guess that's pretty much the same thing. So that's kind of neat. Uh, we're gonna use you guys control on click, right click, right click. Online. Allows them to blow up the mines in the water. Are you gonna? Here, this is not working right. There he goes. Blow it up. Uh oh. Battle stations. He's gonna get damaged. There, he blew up. Wow. So those are little old towers. They weren't mines. Some are mines. Some are towers. These are mines. We'll blow those up. And this is iridium. He's healing up our buddy. John is here. Cool. Awesome. So he's dead. Affirmative. Get some more loot, iridium, and then we can come in here. Let's use a. Uh, I guess not. Not yet. Because this isn't a very big battle. Yeah. <laughs> we got a bunch of fuel. We can use the fuel as defense or a, a mine. Ooh. We got another, another missile barrage. So it's kind of a good idea to go through here and actually collect all the loot in these areas, because it's it's pretty neat. On our way. And then these iridium. From what I've seen, that's the only place you can collect them. And then the radium is an upgrade for your individual um, Full speed ahead. buildings back in, in Earth, or in your colony. Okay, I'm going to use this guy to Target blow this quiet. up. I don't want to get my rest of my guys over there. Cool. We open that up. On our way. Let's go up here. We can actually bust down this little weir, I guess. It's not really a dam. Affirmative. This is not holding anything back, or is it? I don't know. It's, some of these structures are just kind of confusing to me. All right, we're gonna come out in the middle. This is a quest. We can click on this. Collect lifeboats with your vehicle. So you can go collect lifeboats and we get graphene and more combat experience. So we'll do that. I don't know where they're gonna be, but we'll do it. Okay, this should be okay. Should be all right on this. All right, that looks good. I think this guy's got a little uh, EM, EMP, little pulse. Ooh, we got another. So we can, we have a maximum amount that we can carry two. So we can only carry three missile barrages. We're gonna use that pretty soon here. Okay, I want you to attack this thing. Battle stations. And we have a maximum amount of uh, fuel that we can carry two. This guy's got a quest. Job is dangerous. Go so we need on. to destroy four hunters. We'll do that. And then there's another quest up here. We will not Use your repair drone four times. Better. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll accept that. And we'll get uh, more Iridium in combat experience. So there's no quest. Sometimes you get a quest to, like, use three missile barrages or or not use three missile barrages. So we can see them, all of them here. Collect the lifeboats, destroy the hunters, or use the repair drone four times. I guess we'll just use the repair drone right now. So we can collect this extra fuel. That should work. We're going to destroy these guys. That was awesome. Oh, there's another guy up here. Okay, those are subs. I'm calling the subs on these guys. Repair systems online. Okay, check it out. Little subs surfaced and took out their subs. Now these guys may help out. Sometimes they move and sometimes they just kind of stay put. They're actually going to come over and assist us. Awesome. On our way. Okay, can I repair them? That's an interesting question. Energy shields active. Nope. Okay. Coordinates confirmed. Oh, they're gonna, yeah, they are moving, so that's good. I use them as like a decoy here. Oopsies. Kaboom. All hands engage. Kaboom ski. Perfect. Okay, they're gonna continue going. They're kind of powerful. I don't see any more vehicles over here. Roger. I got another missile barrage I can't use. Another one there. Wow. Okay, let's way. continue up. Oh, is he healing those guys? No. Yeah, he was. Awesome. Well, he doesn't need it anymore. Affirmative. Okay, we're gonna wait. Cause there's a max range that we can use. See the max range there? Can't go any further. What do you have? Why are you here? Okay, destroy the hunters. Oh, we already got two. 
Ah, uh, let's we'll nuke those guys. Let's kill this. We're under fire. I'm gonna try it. Oh, it's so close yet so far away. Okay. Fire on up. Repair systems online. Perfect. Okay, might as well repair up again. Just to use it again. Running. Okay, and I just need to use it one more time and then we'll we'll get the money for it. Collect extra fuel. Collect a impulse too. Full speed ahead. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna nuke these as soon as we get in range. Nuclear missile. Five. Got boomski. Attack. All hands engage. Oh boy. Come on in that circle. Nuclear missile. Five. Yes! Except I missed the main targets. Oh well. Okay, I want you to attack here. Green to go. Blow that up. And we have the EMP pulse too. EMP pulse. I guess we could have blown this up. Weapon systems online. Okay, boom goes the dam. Perfect. Full speed ahead. Okay, let's pulse these guys. I don't know, we'll pulse right here. Zap. And we'll take them down. Oh, that killed it. This kills. Oh, that was a good guy. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, let's do a repair. Repair systems online. We got that quest completed. I think it was him that wanted it. Yes. How far along are you with me? Underway. You want to discuss okay. this matter? Uh, I think we already got the rewards for it. No. Hmm. You want to discuss this matter again? Oh, we have to use it one more time. Okay. What's that? Oh, vehicle to collect. Okay, that's a little lifeboat. Lifeboat's collected. Here's some more bad guys. Green to go. We're gonna use you to collect these. Do to do, because he's quicker. Don't want him to blow up either. Uh oh. Oh, he collected it. Okay, get away. Okay, and mine's a repair. I congratulate you. There you go. Perfect. Full speed ahead. Okay, do I need to turn that in? Or are we good? Don't know. I haven't done that mission yet. Nice. Okay, and I'm gonna EMP these because I don't like them. Coordinates confirmed. Ah, they blew up on their own. Perfect. Okay. Oh, sub came up. Is this a hunter? Is that what they called the hunter? Maybe. Who knows? Full speed ahead. Okay, we'll grab another nuke. We can take these guys out. I think we get experience for killing these two. Taking Not positive. Day. Don't worry, my drones will fix that. Healing drones. Okay, you're done now. And Kaboomski. Good job. Don't we need one more fuel piece? It'll be that one that we pick up. We got it. Let's grab the iridium and the graphene. Someone should grab it. There we go. Two more guys. Perfect. We're under fire. Don't move. Yeah, take these guys out. Battle uh -huh. uh oh, we need to take that too. Okay, we'll use some defense Energy on us, shields. and then we'll take this down. So that's a kind of a nasty critter. Perfect. Underway. More graphene. Little fuel. We got some subs over here. Let's drop a sub in. This is where we actually need to fight. So. Coordinates confirmed. And why don't we EMP him too? And we're gonna call in more subs. Supports on the way. Yeah, because basically we we have um nothing else to do. Use up all of our resources. Eh, we got another support fleet. Ooh, and a nuke. I'm kind of concerned to use a nuke on that. Aha! You sure gave them a thrashing. Cool. Sweeping in and saving the day. Our crews will thank you for it. Awesome. Mission accomplished. Oh, we're getting all the quests now. That's when we get the rewards for the quests. So we got the three rewards. We got 41 graphene, 57 of the radium. And 45 experience. Upcoming rewards at level 2. We get an uh, advanced... Oh. Enemies are stronger. 
Okay. I think that requires the next difficulty. I'm not sure on that. So we have our, our vehicles here. The Titan. We can upgrade that using a thousand credits. Brought we'll do that. Up to date. And Veteran Turtle. Uh -huh. True That's cool. Crap and then these ones. Uh, we can upgrade these in the future. Once our corporation hits level 6, we get the Flare. And this one is level 8. We'll get a Stinger. And then level 10, we'll get a Glacier. So that's fun. Uh, let's see. I think that's good. If we, are we leave mission? Yes, because we're done. I'm glad you came back unharmed. This attack gave everyone at the Union headquarters shock. But the program has to go on. Cool. We've lost contact to Lunar Excavation Corp. It seems many moon colonies aligned with the Orbital Watch. It's all the more important your space elevator goes into operation. All right. We got to go back to Walbrook Station. Oh, it's going to load up. I should have been doing that. We need to enter it. We have the graphene. We get to select the spaceport and finalize the upgrade. Uh, once we do that, then our next mission is over. But we are low on the food, so we need to make some more food. And I guess we're low on uh, water and stuff, too. But now, now I think we can upgrade. Yes, we can. So we can add an additional module. It produces our productivity up 100%. That uses up um, one graphene. So we collected a 41 that last time. We can put in one of these and put that down. Check it out. We can add, actually do two of them. That'll require more workers, but it'll produce our our, oh, our output will be significantly higher. So that's awesome. So our filter unit. So we upgraded those. We have, let's see, Warning, maintenance modules. I'm way too old for oh, sorry. like that. Gotta pass next time. So you better make sure you got a decent battle fleet. Stop by the dockyard if you want any ships built or revamped on that. Okay, cool. And then we can do the rice farm. We can upgrade the rice farm too. So productivity up 180%. That'll add actually an, an entire new module onto it. We're going to do two of these. I'm going to do the same with you up here. So that should increase our, our food supply. Then we can do the same with the field. Yeah, that's what I was concerned of. Come on over. Actually, that's going to be bad in general. Let's just move you over. And, uh, let's see. Click on you. I'm going to get the module. That is blocked. Okay, we're going to move you over then. Move you over. Got it. All right. Now let's click on you. We're going to get the new module right here. And we can also increase modules like Drone Hive, which is less maintenance or less energy or less less logistics. So I do like the drone hive. You can do like two of these and then that'll decrease the amount of workers that we need there. And I think I could actually do another one of these too. Increases the yield of it. So now we have like super amount of yield. 393% yield and workforce. <laughs> the power is energy missing. So let's do another accumulator unit. 10% less power. Plop that in. You can do two of those. So these are going to use quite a bit less power than what they did before. 30 power at 400% efficiency, which is pretty cool. I really like the, the modular system of the upgrades. And then we have one more upgrade we can actually do. So less logistics. It uses five, two less. Is that really worth it? Because logistics are pretty easy to come by. Uh, accumulator unit, we could use less power again, or we could even use less workforce. Or we could go ahead and, and put one of these in. So I'm going to turn this. Oh, that won't fit. <sighs> Okay, we'll put it there. Ha, <laughs> and our power is now a problem again. So let's do that really fast, quick, and in a hurry. Put another power supply down. And we're gonna have to make a road that goes way out here. We'll have to do that eventually because we'll need more whatever that stuff is. Okay, let's do that. We're gonna turn you that way. Actually, I can bring you over here. Then you're farther away from stuff even more. Cool. Hey. All right. Time oh. to make some improvements. Okay. Energy ah. shortage. Energy is still short? No, we're good. Can we we can upgrade the energy factories too. So we can add another module on here. We should have done that first, I guess. Quality work, you'll see. Hey. We're going to do let's see. Less credit maintenance and less workers. So how many do we have? We have, what's it actually say? Oh, 15 workers and then less credit. Okay, we're gonna do one of these. I'm gonna do, I guess that's all I can build? No, I can still build, hmm. Credit. Oh, we don't have enough of the of the iridium. Got it. Okay, so our power is good. 
Uh, we need to upgrade this stuff now. I hope, I hope I still have the right stuff. If not, I'll have to go do another battle. Okay, graphene, 10. Perfect. Cable firmly attached. Elevator car ready for departure. Attention. Approaching Global Union Space Station. Prepare for docking. That is so cool. Congratulations, the first step into space. All purviews of the global economy are now accessible for you. Phase two of the Lunar Licensing Program starts now. All right, well, I'll tell you what, guys, this is a very good spot to end the episode, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. We have a decent base, a decent city set up here. Uh, things are going nicely. We can upgrade uh, these in the future here. Uh, we, have, we have quite a bit of stuff that we can do, and a lot of things we can upgrade. We're producing a lot of rice, Actually, we could check down here. We're producing a lot of everything except uh, these things, nanoceramics. So we are going to... Oh, water down. Credits down 5%. Is that like a, a ticker for resources? Huh. I haven't seen that before. That was interesting. Anyway, that is going to do it for this episode. So keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time.